Hi, I'm Ed Gordon and I'm here at Photokina 2010 with um, Tim from Lowepro, who's here with um, two, two of the camera bags from the Pro Runner family, um, which were launched earlier this year. And he's just going to tell us a bit more about, um, well, about the specifications and also the, the kind of kit that you can fit in them. Tim, over to you. Ah, good. Yeah, this is the uh, two bags from our Pro Runner family. Um, I'll start with the Pro Runner 300. Um, this is what everyone will remember as the uh, Mini Trekker, which yeah, was one of yeah. our biggest selling bags of all time. Really it's what everyone knows as a classic camera bag. So from the outside, you've got a very nice clean aesthetic. It doesn't shout out, it's not got huge logos on it. We've got a really nice... It's not an obvious camera yeah, bag. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have big, huge, big pictures of cameras on it. But it's got, we've updated the tripod mount there. So you've got a little tripod foot which pops out the bottom. Okay, cool. um, that's, always, that's always really handy, isn't it? Yeah, it's really, Especially really Especially when it's muddy. Yeah, we used to have um, elastics on the old Mini Trekker, but this is a much simpler system, a bit more clean, a bit sure. more robust. Everything we've learned from selling thousands of those bags, yeah. we've been able to put into this product. Keep, keep a monopod or a tripod on yeah, there. Yeah, a small monopod, travel tripod, it works really, really well on that. You've got extra pockets for you know essentials. You can keep it like camera um, card reader in there, yeah, card a few memory quite, cards. Yeah, if I open up the front. You'll see that it's quite a large expanding pocket, so you could put a jacket in there. You've got yeah, pockets sure. for you it's know, quite your deep, iPhone. actually, isn't it? You can stick an iPad in there or a netbook, anything you really want to. So we've got key clips, pen holders. It's yeah. our bump pocket. It's what you everyday essentials which photographers need. Um, you notice on the back it's just a nice little breathable harness system. So you've yeah. got a waist belt there, you've got padded shoulder straps. Yeah. And also because it's part of the low pro family, it has the patented all weather cover, all which, which people will know about because they go over the whole bag. Yeah. Just to add that extra ability to cope with most yeah, bits of rope. It's really easy to pull away, isn't it? So no excuse for not using it. Yeah. You've got um, water bottle holders on the side, yeah, sure. or a lot of people stuff small jackets in them, or even those small little compact tripods as well, if they're doing off-camera flash, a yeah. bit of a strobe approach. Easy to access on the side. Isn't yeah, it? slip lock attachment points, so our pouches or our, our lens cases can go on the side as well. If you open up the bag, this is what everyone knows is a classic camera bag, a concept we came up back in the 60s, um, padded, it's got a modular interior so you can change things around. Yeah, you get a couple of bodies, a 300 in there. Yeah, yeah, it's completely modular, so I mean it's not tied down to any sort of configuration. Sure. Yeah, I mean these are sized around the more sort of consumer level DSLRs, we're talking D90, uh, D300 territory, okay, 5D sure. without a battery grip, it's not a pro depth camera bag, so as soon as you start any, talking any about, bigger and we're going on yeah we start going to the big bad boys. Um, you've got pockets for documents, memory cards, yeah. um, but it's, you can set up for whatever you want. You could put video equipment in if you wanted to. Um, I've sold these to ambulancemen working in Afghanistan because they need to protect um, really sensitive equipment. It's a really good all-round yeah. bag. It's what, documentation as well. Yeah, yeah. it's just a, it's a really smart everyday bag. So that, I mean, that replaces the old Mini Trekker. It's set to be the biggest selling backpack this year uh, so, in the UK. So we've got that. So if we move, move on to the, to the bigger one here, okay, on up, wheels as yeah, well. Jumping up within the Pro Runner family, we'll go right to the top end. This is the X450. So this is a rolling variant. So we were the first people to come up with a rolling camera bag a very long time ago. And we've taken that concept forward. We had the rolling CompuTrekkers, and they were the biggest selling rolling bags. But they've now been replaced with the Pro Runner X series. Okay. If you open up the front, again you've got the standard pockets which are for all your bump at the front there. Yeah, yeah. But this one has the laptop sleeve as well. Okay, and you get so that with it. This is airport friendly, so when you go and check in the airport, you can take your laptop out, you can put it through separately, you don't have to worry about it too and much. And then just drop it back in, yeah. And this is, um, you can take this on the plane? They're, um, they're the right size? Depending on the airline restrictions, you have to check with your airline sure. first. We don't guarantee anything because you know what it's like. You turn yeah. up at the airport one morning yeah. and, and if you get the really nice person on the desk, you've got no issues. Exactly, yeah. If you get the nasty person, you're weighing everything no and trying to get there. Yeah. But essentially, it is a backpack in line with the Pro Runner range. So it's got padded waist belt with slip lock attachment points you can put all the modular systems extra lens cases yeah. water bottle pouches and when, when those are out it doesn't mean that the, the wheels are going to be banging into your hips well what you do is when you've actually got it on your back it actually just works to the back oh, okay. but then when you actually want to use the rolling capability you can tuck everything away sure. and if you look at the top system here these are actually held onto the bag with little d clips which undo there okay, and then if you look in there there's actually compartments where you can hide the straps away. Okay, I'm with you. So for when you're in the airport lounge or if you're running around town on the shoot and you want to actually put the bag on the ground, take Use some weight on your shoulders, yeah. the wheels are actually away from any straps, so there's not going to be any interference between okay. that. And, that, and was that was pretty quick, you doing that. Sure. Yeah, and you've now got a rolling variant. 
So essentially you've got the best of both worlds. Yeah. Those times when you're going up and down stairs, running around town, you've got a backpack. Sure, sure. Those times when you need a rolling bag, for when the weight is just too much, you've got a rolling bag. Yeah. And, then, and then the main compartment is the very compartment. very similar, but just a lot bigger, yeah? Exactly what you'd expect. Yeah, exactly so the same with so the more document um, wallets, you've got the memory card wallets, space for two DSLR bodies, you've got depth there so you can take pro bodies in there, you've got all the lens compartments, you can set it up for flash units, everything you can imagine. Okay, brilliant. Well, thanks ever such a lot, Tim, for showing us um, two of your bags in, in the Pro Runner range. Brilliant. Thanks ever such a lot. Okay, so check back for more of Photokina 2010 with Warehouse Express.